If you guys came to this video to learn how to fix your pelvic tilt or to see if you have an issue with it, you're at the right place. Pelvic tilt occurs when your glutes pull out and there's an over-exaggeration of the spine at a lower level causing you to do this weird kind of like duck butt thing as I like to call it. We're going to show you how to fix that. So first I'm going to give you a little bit of background knowledge of how it takes place. Generally this happens for people who are seated throughout the day, whether it's in their car, at a desk, they're very inactive. And there are a couple ways to actually realize that you have this issue. Number one is if you have really sore lower back pain, this could be a cause of anterior pelvic tilt. Number two, if your glutes just protrude more than they should. I'm not saying if you have a big butt, I'm just saying that if you actually have the glutes pushed out and your lower back kind of like pushed forward, then that's a common issue. And number three, a lot of times people just have tight hamstrings because their, because their pelvis is being pulled forward and they have nowhere else to go. So these are three things, and a lot of people have all three of these issues, and that leads them to having anterior pelvic tilt. We're gonna show you how to fix this in five easy steps. First and foremost, so guys, the common misconception to fix this is stretching. Stretching isn't always the solution. So for instance, if you have tight hamstrings, the secret obviously is to just stretch them out and it's gonna heal you up. Unfortunately, that isn't the case. The reason your hamstrings are being contracted is because of the pelvic position. Therefore, by simply stretching your hamstring, it isn't gonna free it up completely. It's gonna take a full monogamy of the muscles working together to kind of heal up that position and fix it back to its proper state. Number two guys is work, guys and gals, I guess here, work that booty. As funny as it sounds, guys, it's very important to have glute strength. I can't stress this enough. A lot of guys think, oh, I don't need a big butt. What's the point? The girls obviously work out really hard. You see a lot of guys having this issue because they're neglecting to work their glutes. Glutes are important, guys. They make you powerful, strong, give you a great base and a great kind of foundation for all that power of your body. If you guys are looking for three fantastic exercises to get huge glutes for guys or girls, well, not huge, let's say strong glutes, Click the first link in the description down below that will help you out a ton. Number three guys, far too many of you have a tight lower back, so just simply put, stretch your lower back. Make sure to stay to the end of the video because we're going to show you guys some actual exercises to help stretch it out. Number four, far too many people have tight hip flexors, so just similar to the lower back, you guys are going to have to make sure to stretch it a lot to help fix this issue. Number five, you guys could simply have some weak abdominals, so this is something that you're going to have to focus on strengthening. You're going to want to stay away from hip dominant movements where your hips are going to be taking over and just focus on strictly strengthening the core. All right guys, comment down below if this video is helping out so far and comment down below what your biggest issue with uh, or when you started noticing this happening. Let's see if we can all help each other out in the comments down below. We'll be there so be sure to do that. Also be sure to smash that like button if you haven't already. Now we're gonna go ahead and show you three exercises that you can actually take and do at home that are really, really, really gonna help you fix this issue. Hey guys, so exercise number one is called the scorpion. This is an exercise I've done for years. Back when I was a runner, I noticed a lot of people suffered with pelvic tilt. It's very easy to suffer lower back pain, especially when you're a runner. So I always made sure, and I still do make sure, to do this exercise so that I don't have a tight lower back. Now moving on to the abdominal crunch, like I said guys, we want to stay away from hip dominant ab exercises. By doing this, you're obviously going to be able to strengthen your abs, and as we all know, strong core muscles will greatly improve your posture. Next up, we have the glute bridge. Guys, this is a great exercise for improving your hip mobility and strengthening your lower back which are two things that any desk bound worker can benefit from. If you guys haven't noticed already, these are all exercises that are either gonna fix a weakness or help you guys fix a tightness. Moving on, this is a kind of a bonus if you guys wanna try out the hip thrust. We have a full video on that to help strengthen your glutes. Obviously, you wanna make sure you are doing proper form before you add on the weight. Last but not least, I didn't wanna leave this video without providing this for you guys. It is the child's pose. Some of you may think it looks a bit weird, especially if you're a male, but I can assure you this is an awesome exercise. It's going to help you open up the hip and get a nice stretch in the lower back. I legit could not recommend it more, so try it out and let us know how you guys enjoy it. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. It means a ton. Uh, one thing you guys we also have for you, we have a free supplement ebook. If you guys are looking to learn more about fitness and get knowledge for that, we're going to show you guys all the supplements you need, nothing you don't. That'll be the second link in the description down below. I really, really recommend looking at that. Please like this video. Please subscribe. We love you all. Peace.